Yeah, I mean, I, I think the biggest thing, uh, I was just talking about it out there. You know, we we're supposed to be in an MTE in New York uh, with Nova and Virginia and, and Missouri. And then I got, because of the NBA thing, I kind of got messed up. So, um, thank you. We were, hope, we were hoping for our first Big Ten game to be on Thursday and Wednesday, but we had no other room to squeeze the game in. So, um, yeah, I mean, the biggest thing going into this one was just get our bench more minutes and, and give them the experience, um, which which we did. <clears throat> yeah, I think he's, you know, I think he's doing a great job. He's, his leadership has been great. Um, I think the biggest thing for me, it gives me someone that I know that I have a lot of confidence in coming off the bench that understands the system that I know is going to do all the right things, make all the right plays. Um, and I, ju I just think it's taken a lot of pressure of him having to make shots with that first group. I mean, I made him a jump shooter in that first group, and now he's able to be more of a playmaker. Yeah, I mean, Tafar, like that's, I keep telling people, that's what we see every day. It's just I, I got to somehow get him to turn his motor on right away when he first goes in. Um, because that's what he's capable of doing all the time, and I think it's some of the guys, some of the guy bench guys, are trying to coast into the game instead of trying to explode into the game. And I think once he figures it out, it will help us tremendously. Kevin, I think it was 25 of the 32 shots uh, came off of assists today. What did you see from the ball movement today that might have been different from? I, past? you know what, it, it it helps when you you have guys make shots. So when you go, I mean, we shot almost 50% from three. So your ball movement locks it looks a lot better when you're popping the ball and you have guys that make shots. Um, that was one of our issues last year is we would pop the ball and get open. We were seventh in the country in open shots. We were 340th in making them. You know, this year it's, it's just, it's different. You know, you got Rodney, you got Selton, uh, Jacoby, um, Jay's making shots, Malachi can make shots. So it's, the ball movement's good and, and we're popping it, but we also have guys just making shots. After that brief offensive dry spell, seven, eight minutes in, did you see anything different aside from just the shots going in? No, just just our defensive intensity picked back up. We were able to get on a break a little bit. and um, they, they, They've come out, I mean, they've played, I think they've played nine road games. Um, they've come out and played everyone really hard for the first 20 minutes. I mean, really hard. Um, it's, I get, when you've been on the, game, on the road for nine days, you know eventually For Jude, 10, 10 to 12 from the line, um, obviously overhauled his form a little bit. What can you talk about his development at the free throw line over the last few years? I, I think he's just, I think he's done a good job of understanding that was a big weakness for him. Um, you know, if he had shot 70% last year, he averages another four points a game, which is monsters, not only for him, but for us. We lose seven three point games. So I think he understood he worked hard this summer and I think he's got a lot of confidence in the shot right now. To that end, Coach, how important is that going in to the Big Ten part of your schedule to have Derek and Juju so comfortable at the line? Yeah, it's big because we're going to need we're going to need them. We're going to have to throw the ball inside. I mean, you know, you just can't <laughs> in this conference. I mean, it's it's going to have to be pound the ball inside, and the games get ten times more physical in the next two games. So uh, to have guys that when they rebound the basketball can get fouled. Um, it's a little bit more of a security blanket than it was in the past. And this time of the season, as you're getting ready to go into the conference schedule, important to today, I saw you, you call a timeout to make sure that your walk-ons get on and, and they, they get what they need. Say that again. I, I totally zoned out. I Sorry. apologize. This time of the season, I saw you, you called a timeout to make sure one of your walk-ons got on. Important at this time before you get into the conference yeah, I mean, schedule. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's... Ben and Lucas um, are two young men that they come and they work every day. Um, they don't get a whole lot of opportunities. So that when they, when you do get the opportunity to touch the court, I think it is special for them. Um, and they've been lucky this year. I mean, that we only had two opportunities last year for them to do it. This year it's been almost five or six. So um, when you can get everyone in the game, it, it, it's rewarding to the guys that put the work in.
terrific. Everybody have a good night.